Don't forget to check out the website, guys. It's updated weekly with new blog posts. Also over there, you can check out my merch as well, which is now available for sale. And there's also a handy guide if you are new to reselling. Hey guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how you can create a simple sale on eBay. Um, so basically, how did I first get to this page, which is the manage my shop page in the overview of the seller hub, which is the default page of the seller hub. Um, you just want to scroll down about halfway down the page. And obviously you have all these different little sections on the uh, seller hub. Basically, the far left hand side, you should have have one with loads of different links to various different pages and on one of those uh, links will be the manage my shop um, you basically just want to click that one and then obviously it will take you to this page here now as you can see there's loads of different links on this page it looks quite daunting it looks like there's loads of different things going on don't worry about that because we're only concerning ourselves with one of these links today which is going to be the markdown manager here so obviously you want to just go ahead and click on this one and then obviously it will take us to this page here um which again it looks like there's quite a lot going on on this page um, but basically it's quite simple you literally just go up here to this blue button which is create a promotion and you can um, sort of create all different promotions you can do multi buy codeless voucher sale event plus markdown and order discount I don't think I've ever looked into this codeless voucher so that might be something I do um, at a later date and obviously if I decide to do that I might share a tutorial on that as well because um, it might just be interesting to, to obviously try this one here but today we're just going to be doing the sale event plus markdown so we just want to click click that there and then it will take us to the sale oh looks like uh something's missing said said the page was missing there which is quite odd i'll just try and click through again right there we go so right it's come up now so uh, it'll take you to this page here, uh, despite some of the um, issues there we've finally got here. So, uh, yeah, basically, it'll take you to this page here. It's very, very user-friendly. Um, it's, you know, it's fairly easy if you just want to set up a simple sale, which we'll be doing today. You know, 10% off, 20% off, um, you know, whatever sort of percent off you would like. Then it is fairly easy. Now, you can also choose on this sort of left-hand side, you can choose to take a, a set percentage off. So, let's just say 10% off each item. Item, but you can also choose or, or alternatively you can choose to take um, a price off each item like five pound off each item or ten pound off each item I generally do the uh, percentage that's just how I like to work with sales so I generally do 10% sale that's kind of the standard for a lot of sales uh, that people do but I know other people do 20% 30% off and especially if you want to move some inventory fairly quickly then that might be an option um, but yeah so take 10 percent off each item i've not seen this down here before but this is offer free postage for all discounted item uh, items applies to first domestic delivery service uh, yeah i'd be careful selecting that um because if you've got you know 10 percent coming off your items already and then you want to uh, you've selected that to offer free postage then you've got to uh, be looking at your margins and the profit margins you're going to be making on those items so just be careful when you select that and give it some thought if you are thinking about selecting that but today we're just going to select this take 10 percent off each item then we're just going to go to the select items page and this is where you can select the items for the sale so i'm just going to click this uh, left hand side one because this is the one i normally go with uh, which is select items 500 items per promotion choose items from your inventory so you get to choose the items you want going on uh, will include skipped items as they qualify uh, items can be removed at any time so basically we just want to uh, click here on select items and it should give you a list of all the items in your inventory um, and then you, you know you can go through and just select on this right hand, uh, left hand side all the items you want to include and maybe there's a few you don't want to include if that's the case and then scroll right down to the bottom and do that with all the items um, alternatively if you just want to do a blanket sale over everything which is what a lot of people like to do you just obviously select all the items there now you want to go down to the bottom and make sure that items per page is at the maximum of 200 and then once you've selected the items that you want or maybe you've selected like I have here all the items on the page you want to click confirm selection down here and then what you need to do is you need to repeat the process until uh, you've obviously got 500 items in the sale um, obviously if you're doing a blanket sale or um, 
once you've gone through all the kind of items and you you've got all the different ones uh, selected that you want um, i'm guessing a lot of people will just end up doing a blanket sale though especially if you're like me you know i've got over a thousand items on ebay I've not got the time to be going through individually and selecting uh, certain items that I want in the sale and certain items that I don't want in the sale. So I just do blanket sales. Um, but yeah, down here in the left hand corner, you can click add more items and then this will take you back to that page. Um, now, this will be on uh, the first page still. So you want to go down, scroll right to the bottom and go to the second page. This will give you the, the items that aren't, aren't selected currently. And then obviously, as I mentioned, if you would like to just select individual items then you can do that going down the page uh, just like so you know on the left hand side oh I want that in the sale or I don't want that in the sale so I'll skip it or I want that in the sale etc or again you can just click to select all your items you can see down here well actually I might be obstructing it but it says um, 400 out of 500 items selected and I'm just going to confirm the selection again and then obviously you can do it a final time to get up to the 500 items selected. Now if you go through all your pages and you're just picking out certain individual items for the sale, then you might not even get up to the 500 items, um, you know, actually maximum in the sale. And that's fine, you know, you don't need to get up to the 500 items in the sale. But for, for example, obviously, I would now go ahead and add, click the add more items button and just get up to that 500 uh, selected items. But what I'm just going to do is skip that steps just so we can get to the next step because I'm literally just doing this for the um, process of obviously doing a tutorial um, so now obviously we go to we've got this review your sale event and this is going to be the sale event name this will not be visible to buyers so this is just kind of for your reference so you could just call it summer event um, or something like summer sale um, and yes, I'm aware we're not in the sale, so you could always call it, uh, we're not in the summer even, so you could always call it winter sale or whatever it may be. Uh, we've got, it, this is just kind of a, a review, so it's telling you that it's going to take 10% off each item, 400 items are selected, in, include skipped items when they qualify, um, and then what we want to do is put in the date range for the sale, so it's very simple, you just literally uh, click down here and then we could go from today, which is 24th of February to 10th of March. I think, um, I don't know what the maximum is for a sale. I think I've heard a few people say it's something like two or three weeks. I think, I think f maybe three or four weeks. I'm not sure, but I know you can't like uh, do a sale for crazy, crazy long. Let me just try actually, if I click like May. Oh, may no, actually, maybe it's saying there. Uh, I can. I don't know. I'd have to look into that, actually. So I apologize. I've not got that information to hand. But um, you can always just try it, you know, just put in a date. Um, and if it snaps it back, you know, if it, if it tells you you can't do it for that long, then you will realize then. But, um, you know, for example, you just select a date there. Normally, a lot of people just want to run a sale for a couple of weeks, maybe two or three weeks, something like that, and then, and then leave it. So I just put, you know, 1st of March or something there just for the um, kind of purposes of this. Uh, and then this is just, um, you can just do a very quick description of the products in your sale event. I'm not sure where, I think this will, yeah, buyers may see the sale event description. Description. So just be careful with what you put in the sale event description. Make sure, you know, if it does get shown to buyers that it's something you actually, um, you know, would want buyers to see. So don't just put something very brief in here that doesn't really describe anything. Make sure that you are putting some uh, good information in there for the buyers. Um, and then obviously you can select your images. And these images, sale event images, will be kind of your promotional images for the sale on your like little sale event buyers. Banner, um, and these can come directly from um, your listings and I think you can upload yeah you can upload um, from your computer a, a specific banner and obviously you could maybe if you know how to do Photoshop you could do it in that or you could do it in uh, something like Microsoft Paint or something just to give yourself a bit more of a professional banner if you would like to do that so obviously you could put in uh, your sale event uh, banner you could put 10% uh, 10% uh, obviously this will be shown to buyers so 10% off everything uh, and then you could just put limited time only there we go and be, be uh, warned as well that you only get 50 characters I think that's 50 characters there not words so yeah 50 characters in that sale event description so obviously you've not got 
tons of characters to play with but yeah just 10 percent off everything for uh, limited time only and then literally you just come down here to the bottom right hand corner again i might be obstructing it with obviously myself in in the uh, in the corner here but there's just a blue bot button down here to the very bottom right that then says launch and i believe that if you click that it'll just literally launch it and that'll be that. I'm not going to click it myself because I don't necessarily really want to set up this sale. As I say, I was literally just doing this for the, uh, for the purpose of obviously providing you guys with um, the knowledge on how to do this yourselves. But I'm sure that if you just click that launch button, it'll literally just go through and it'll launch the campaign. If it doesn't, then it may bring you to a final review page uh, where you just need to review a few of the details before you then click through and officially launch the sale. And then obviously it will run through from the dates that you set it up it will uh, start at this date and then it will end at this date um, and then your items will return to the normal price so yeah pretty easy to set up a sale uh, you know it doesn't take a very long time uh, i mean obviously there i've just done it live on video it's literally taken me less than 10 minutes or around 10 minutes so yeah pretty quick to set up a sale it's not too bad um so yeah if you want to set up a sale then that is how you do so do so obviously that is just a simple sale uh, you can go into a bit more detail and do uh, layered discounts and stuff like that however if you're just a reseller who's got 200 500 items available or whatever fit for sale i don't think you necessarily really want to do a layered discount sale you probably just want to do a blanket sale of 10 percent 20 percent etc like i covered at the start so with that being said i will leave it there for this video guys don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already if you did like this and you enjoyed this video and you got some value out of it then please do drop a like down below and i will see you in the next one so i'll see you very soon guys